Hey y'all, welcome back to Buy at Devon Nails. Today I'm pulling some colors from Nellie Bell Nails to help celebrate their third anniversary of being open. I'm so excited to do this mani. Um, the collab theme was just your favorite Nellie Bell's colors. So I pulled Royal Bouquet, which is the color that was made especially for me when I joined the ambassador team. It's these gold, gorgeous purples, teals, gold flakes, and then nighty, Naughty Nightshade is a perfect complement to this color. Just a nice purple, and they look gorgeous together. And I got sheet LS2, and look at that fierce redhead. How could I not use this color for this collab? So I'm so excited about that decal. So I'm gonna be pouring my Royal Bouquet into my French dip tray from Liquid Layers. I love using this for a chunky glitter because it really helps me to kind of tap it to pull those big glitters to the top. And then you'll see later, I also am gonna pour some out into my no mess dip tray to do a little bit of hand placing. So my dip stands um, where my nail tips are, are from Oil Oasis as well as the bigger gray tray. And then that little French one and my bottle holder are both from Liquid layers so you can grab both of those so on this pinky i decided to kind of mimic the curving pattern of those clouds from the decal and just do a little bit of um, color blocking kind of just free form i didn't use a sticker i didn't have a pattern i just sort of twirled my brush a little bit and there is a foil in this royal bouquet so I'm kind of pulling off the extra to put back into my dip container. And then I'm going to go through in the last layer and add a few more of those teal glitters. Um, I really want to make sure that I'm able to pull out the teal of the decal. So by making sure I get more of those teal big chunky glitters, I think that that will help it all kind of meld well together. Royal Bouquet went on it so well. And I loved using these are really long tips to just give me so much space to show off both of these colors. I really like this purple. It is a great purple color. Um, I think that there's just a tiny, tiny bit of shimmer in it, um, but it is mostly a flat color, which I think complements this really bright, chunky glitter so well. So I'm just going in with my brush here and I'm kind of pushing towards where the two colors come together to get just a little bit of base underneath any of those chunky glitters that are not fully affixed down. Then I'm just dusting off and I'm going to do another layer of Naughty Nightshade here. And this is just going on so great. I'm going to have to do very minimal buffing, but I do think I'm going to top this with a gel top coat so that I don't have to mess with clear on top of my chunky dip. Um, I contaminated my clear the other day. I got just a few too many glitters in it. So I feel like it's coming out just a little bit, um, not fully clear. So I need to grab some new, but luckily I do have some gel in my supplies. So I'm gonna grab that at the end. But I'm gonna do the full Manny until that top coat with my regular dip liquids from Zebra, love these. I think that they are really excellent. All right, so now I'm gonna go in and grab out those big chunkies. I'm going to use my tweezers here rather than just spilling it into my No Mess Dip Tray just because I know exactly which colors I want. I really only want those big teal ones so that I can make the teal really pop on this mani. So now that I've got them in my dip tray, adding my base liquid, and then I use this wax tip pen. I got mine from Dipnotics, but you can get them from a lot of different companies. They are really an excellent tool to have if you don't have one. And just plopping them down. They're so shiny that I feel like they don't show up very well on camera, but you'll see in the final reveal photos that these teals really hold help everything pull together and I did add a little bit more of that gorgeous gold foil so so pretty and then when I get done with my hand placing I'm just going to dip it straight back in to royal bouquet to grab any other colors and press them down lightly so that there are less kind of bumpity areas and for a chunky glitter this one really 
laid down flat. It is so excellent. I thought that I would maybe have to go in with my clear builder gel, um, but I didn't even need to do that. I just did that gel top coat at the end that you'll see. And I'm doing the same thing on this one. So I did the first layer was that freehand color blocking with the glitter. Then I did two layers of Naughty Nightshade. And then the last layer here is going to be the glitter. I always try to do it in that order so that I can get that last layer to be the more chunky glitter. I think it helps to cover up any imperfections in the color blocking, especially when I'm doing it freehand like this. I'm also going to grab some more of the foil that's in here to really make sure that that is on top. I love how the foil looks in this dip, just a beautiful extra little accent. I think it's going to look great with the decal. And then this tool from Diphnotics also has this little kind of precision, I don't know, toothpicky side. And I think that that's really helpful too, to just kind of push things around. I dipped it in to grab anything on the rest of the sticky parts from when I put on the base. And I'm just loving how this is looking. It's looking excellent. And I'm going to pour those few glitters back in. I love that it has two slots. And I'm going to pour it all back into the jar. Dusting off. And I'm going to do one more layer on this thumb, especially because I'm not going to do a clear coat on top. I love when you put on the base coat and you get a little bit of a glimpse of what it's going to look like when you do a top coat. I think that this purple could be amazing in a matte finish, and I think I might do that in the future. So if you're looking at it and thinking the same thing, I think you're totally right. It's going to be gorgeous matte. And I did dip my two nail tips here in a white glow. Um, this isn't the Nelly Bell's White Glow, but you can find one that is similar, which is a little bit of a hint of a shimmer um, on their website. So my big tip for doing nail decals is every companies are going to be just a little bit different. They use a different sealing process. They have different paper. For Nelly Bell's, I find the most success when I soak them for less than 15 seconds. So I actually just count to 15 not like the 15, you know, one Mississippi, two Mississippi. I just count one, two, three, four, five. And as I get to 15, I grab it out. I use my sticky base coat. This one is from Maniology. And then I use my little stamper. And I have one specially dedicated to um, doing decals because I feel like they do get a little bit of gunk on them. So I don't feel like I love to use them for stamping after I've used them for a lot of decals especially on a long nail tip like this. I like to use my scissors to cut kind of these little slices. And then I really think about what I'm going to fold under and what I'm going to fold over. And then I just press down with my finger. I also have a silicone tip um, nail tool that I got from um, one of the exclusive bundles from Nails in a Coffin, and that is super helpful also. So you can see me here, I'm kind of just figuring out which part do I want to be on top and which part do I want to have below. I use my scissors to trim off any excess. If you're doing this on your natural nails, you can use um, an acetone pen to go around your natural nails. And I will sometimes also take a cuticle tool and kind of punch almost um, tiny holes to almost score it so that when you then go to take off that excess, it comes off really nice and easily. I like to leave just a little bit around the edges to fold over. Then when I cap the edges, um, I think it keeps the decal nice. Right here, I'm using activator to help smooth everything down. And uh, you can see me, I'm just pushing that excess just right underneath the nail. And I do sometimes use my little stamper to push everything down. It works kind of like a silicon nail tip. It just keeps my fingers off of it because it can get a little bit sticky. And here I go in with the second one. Now, when I say that I was so careful with this decal, I didn't want there to be a single wrinkle on this beautiful, fierce redhead. So I was super patient with this one. The redhead is at the very bottom of the decal, so I had to line it up, which is really handy to do with these clear jelly stampers. Um, this one isn't from the actual clear jelly um, company, but you can find them there. 
This is just um, one that I got along the way. So definitely nothing special. Um, I did cut those little slices on the side and I kind of wanted to avoid cutting them on the girl on the decal. So I did them kind of around um, her shoulders and then right above where her hair is so that she was perfectly flat with no kind of um, bent over parts. And then I went in with my activator. And here I am using that silicon tip, just kind of rolling towards the edges to get everything so nice and smooth and make sure it's all pressed down nicely, pushing that little bit of excess because I've trimmed a bunch off at this point underneath the nail de decal. And here they are. I'm gonna go in with my gel. So I normally wear um, my gloves when I'm using gel. I don't know what happened in this mani, I just forgot. So. Here is my please wear gloves when you're using gel. Um, do as I say, not as I'm doing here. I just got really excited. Now I will say that these nail stands from Oil Oasis do keep my hands pretty far away from the gel, unlike some of my other stands where the nail tip is so close to the bottom where you're holding on. Um, but I think you should always use gloves. And here is our final look. I absolutely love it. These three, the two colors and the decals came together so well. This has been by Devin Nails. I'll see you on the next one. Bye y'all.